Hey everybody, what's going on? Hey, I wanted to do kind of a toolbox tour today. A lot of people have been saying, hey, I want to see the tools, I want to see the tools, so I'm going to show you the tools. Now I'm going to show you, first of all, I've got two toolboxes. Most of you know I got the U.S. General from Harbor Freight. I think that was 219 I know they just went on sale for 200 a couple weeks ago. And I've got the Husky that I bought from Home Depot. I love this box. The only problem is when you open it, it doesn't always open all the way. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it won't. Just like that, it sticks. Anyway, I put my vise on there. It's also got USB ports. Joe Gatewood gave me a flashlight and uh, oh Well, I know it works, but I can't remember I gotta hit something But I wanted to show you guys my tools. So I decided to buy all SK For this box only I still have some stickers down here. We got Jazzy James That's right lawn care we got AMS oil. So I bought the SK metric and standard T handles. I really like the T handles. I'm not sure I could even. Yeah, you can see that maybe if it focuses. All SK tools that I have are made in the US. So let's go into the first drawer here. They actually had this T-handle set on sale for $10, regularly $70. Bucks. Of course, I've got my little Mac half-inch impact gun. I've got my SK impact sockets from 3 8 all the way up to, I believe, one and a quarter. Here's all of my chrome sockets. I've got adapters, oh, I've got, you can see, that's for the uh, brakes, that one's not SK, I don't believe, nope, Durafast, yeah, come on, it's hard to do with the camera, anyway, the socket trays, let me take one out, Okay, guys, I've got quarter-inch socket trays in standard and three-eighths socket trays in standard. And they come from Wesling Machine in Minnesota. Those are hand-billeted aluminum from a CNC, I'm sorry, a CNC-billeted aluminum. You would think they would fall off. They don't. The sockets stay on there. I've never had one come off. Of course, my Irwin knife, and that is made in the USA. I got one of them that was made in America. Try to keep all, and then I've got, obviously, spark plugs. And hose clamps. And safety glasses. Now, this is where... The thing will be a pain. Well, maybe not. So here's my pick set that I just got. My screwdriver set. And you can see, as it says on there, USA. <clears throat> of course, my USA channel locks. These I use for changing filters. And then we've got the plier set. Let's see here. Yep, there's where it's going to do it. So, get to reach in here, pop that open, pull the drawer out, and these are all of my fractional wrench sets. Got the ratcheting wrenches. I want you guys to hear this, so let me set you up right here. That is such smooth action. And obviously USA. 
and I just recently bought those beautiful beautiful wrenches and then I have my hold on a second there we go again there is my metric set and they actually came in this little plastic container so I'm just leaving them there but show you what these look like that is a beautiful finish they actually have a 15 degrees I believe is what the angle is on those then we have my ratchet collection I've got the quarter inch teardrop ratchet from SK I'll let you listen to this for a minute it's amazing Got my 3 8 stubby flex head. Three eighths teardrop, regular three eighths, quarter inch breaker bar, quarter inch ratchet. Look at the size of this ratchet. Just man, amazing. Then I've got my half inch breaker bar all of my extensions uh, and if people ask do you use these tools yes but I also clean them up with tub of towels okay then I have my new hammers and my pry bars and yes I use my pry bars quite often so and there's the part number if you're interested in that it's an awesome hammer I don't know if you can see where it says made in the USA yep right there and then right here I have my oh this is called I cannot remember the name of this set let's see here what is it called may you and that is made in the USA may you is a really good punch chisel set and I've got my Wilton clamp I use on my front brakes a lot of people use something different I still use this with a block of wood course down here I've got my cases that are empty and then down here I've got all my have my DeWalt drill it's just an old one nothing fancy but it works wheel bearing grease The tub of towels, I've also got Gojo. One thing, guys, if you have a sticker and you want to send it to me, and you want it up here, uh, let me know. And that is my toolbox area. I'll show you. This is just general stuff here. Get my snap on knives. And then now this all these tools is what my wife bought me over our first three Christmases together. I would love to restore this thing. I think I'm gonna work on that this winter. And then we've got gear wrench which is obviously probably Chinese or Japanese or Taiwan or something but
They'll try to keep them clean. I've got the stubbies, the very longs, and then just your regular wrenches. And then I have a non-USA Craftsman uh, box that Sarah bought me for Christmas. I've got all my bolts and clips for the trailer. Electrical stuff in here. Just anything you need. Always got wire. Now this is my breaker bar that is Craftsman made in the USA. Right there, USA. That was my father's. And he gave it to me. And that is one heavy piece of, that is one heavy tool, man, heavy duty. Zip ties, as always, you got to have those. And then, always have a little, little sledge. And then I've got my, got my three quarter inch set down here. And that, those sockets are made in the USA. The ratchet broke, so they gave me a made in China ratchet. And you can tell the difference. Let me set you up here. Definite difference in how this thing is made and machined doesn't have that heavy duty feeling of American made. Anyway, that's a tour, a tour of my toolbox. I hope you guys like it. If there's something, if there are tools that you think I need that I don't have that you didn't see, and obviously I'm gonna add to it because SK just came out with their long and short flex head LP90 ratchet, so I've got to have that. But if there's tools that you guys know that you use in your lawn care business on a regular basis, please let me know so I can put it on my list of must-haves. Guys, that's about it for the day. I think we're going to be working tomorrow, so as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.